can't believe I'm saying this, but there's finally a reason to buy a German BMW EV. Guys, I've never, ever said, you know what? You should buy a Mercedes or an Audi or a BMW EV. I just don't see the reason why until now. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking and the BMW iX3. This is the new version of the iX3, which has the kind of similar to Tesla's cylindrical battery cells. Tesla has pioneered the 4280 cylindrical battery cell and BMW said, yeah, that's a good idea. We're going to make one. We'll make it ours a little bit bigger than Tesla's cylindrical cells and that will give our EVs more range. And a lot of people said, well, Tesla cells are a bad idea. They won't work. Even the CEO of CATL, of Cadle, the biggest battery company in the world, they said Tesla's 4680 cell is a failure. Now, that's what he said, Robin Denholm. However, BMW said, no, 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 we don't agree. The new BMW iX3, which has those cells, is said to get a lot of range. And it's just been test driven. Somebody's driven it. They've done a thousand kilometers of range, right? And the battery still had power left. So that's 621 miles. The 2026 BMW iX3 is the first BMW new class. And it's honestly the first BMW that I think is actually worth buying. I'm pretty sure if you look at my 7,800 videos I've done, I never said, you know, buy this BMW, never. But in this case, I'm saying, well, you know what? If you like BMWs, um, you'd buy this. And honestly, it's a compelling vehicle. BMW said the iX3 would be the industry benchmark for driving range and charging. Is it the industry benchmark for charging? Absolutely not, nowhere near. And that is, a, honestly, BMW should not have made that claim. It, it, don't get me wrong, charging speed's very good. Industry benchmark, it's not even in the same stratosphere as some of the Chinese EVs that are charging at more than 1,000 kilowatt. Anyway, though, this is the first BMW vehicle to ride on its new Generation 6 platform, and it's a massive leap from BMW's previous EVs. It has 30% more range and faster charging than the existing iX3. Now guys, if you've got the existing iX3, um, I think your resale value is gonna plummet. I mean, there's just not much you can do about that because this is a generational, it's not one generation, it's like stepping up two generations with one car. So the BMW team, they say that um, they push the iX3 to the limit. They actually drove 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles from their plant in Hungary where the iX3 is built to Munich in Germany. And they arrived with over 20 kilometers or 12 miles of range remaining. I'm gonna guess they drove very um, sedately to get that kind of range because it's rated for about just over 800 and something, about 850 kilometers of range. So I'm gonna guess they might have, they might have sat behind a truck a few times, but it doesn't really matter because this kind of range if you can get anywhere near this, I mean, in the real world, if you can get 800 kilometers, that is that is a step up, big time. BMW's team avoided highways and used as little energy as possible during the journey. After arriving in Vienna with 53% battery charge remaining, the team cut off air conditioning, heating, and, ra and the radio to reduce energy consumption. In that situation, if you're trying to hypermile and get more range in your car and, you, and it's cold, best thing to do is use a seat heater not your actual heating. So your seat heater can, it uses a lot less electricity than your actual heating. When the iX3 arrived, well, when it reached Munich, it traveled 1,007.7 kilometers. So let's just say 1,008 kilometers, proving if you drive um, sedately enough, you can get 621 miles of real world driving from this vehicle. Now it's actually rated for 800 kilometers or 497, let's just say 500 miles of range, WLTP. But clearly it can drive further than that if you drive in a certain way. I should also mention it can charge pretty quickly as well. It's got up to 400 kilowatt charging speeds, meaning this is the fastest charging German car on the market. I mean, 400 kilowatts great, but it's kind of um, 
relatively pedestrian in comparison to some of the Chinese EVs out there. I don't think anyone's told BMW uh, what's actually going on outside of Germany. But anyway, it doesn't matter. 400 kilowatts still really good. Apparently, it um, there's a in this video from BMW, it actually hits a charging speed of 404. And it's got an 800 volt architecture, so it should be able to maintain some pretty high peak charge rates. And in terms of pricing, it's not cheap. It's 69,000 euros. Uh, that's the iX350 X Drive. That's the first model that's going to come out in many countries around the world. And that's 81,000 US dollars. So yeah, it's, um, it's not particularly affordable, but if you're in the market for a premium SUV, it's certainly a good option. In the United States, the new BMW iX3 will be available in the summer of 2026, starting at a price of 60,000 US dollars, but we're not sure what model that is for 60,000. And that model though will be made in the United States to avoid tariffs. BMW says it'll have a range, EPA range of around 400 miles, which is good. Not a whole lot more than a Tesla Model Y though, it's worth mentioning. In early 2027, BMW will launch the iX340 S Drive and the iX340 X Drive. And prices of those will be just under 55,000 US dollars with a range of around 300 miles. Guys, I actually really do like this vehicle. I like the outside. Some people I've spoken to don't like the design of it, but I really think it looks good on the outside and on the inside. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.